everyone, Justin Ward here with Invisible Fence Brand at Del Marva. This makes episode 19 of our daily vlog. Make sure you get your questions in on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or YouTube. Uh, we would love to answer them, anything about pet related, uh, business, uh, retriever training, stuff like that. We'd be happy to, to answer your questions. So uh, it's a beautiful day here in Del Marva Peninsula. Um, I take care of everything between Dover, uh, Delaware, and the Virginia line on the eastern shore. So uh, if you have a pet or if you're trying to train it for retriever training, uh, reach out to us. I challenge you to ask questions. Uh, we've been doing this since 2000, so it's really a, it's really inspired me to uh, help a lot of people because you can relate on a lot of different levels with these pets. So I see too many people that fall over or uh, the dog ends up out in front of a car or goes over to the neighbor's house. Um, and we're really trying to control that and not only am I trying to sell a miserable fence brand I'm out here to educate people with their dogs So there's a lot of tricks of the trade so to speak that we've learned over the years that can help you and your pet so um, Today I'm going to talk a little bit more about the receiver itself that uh, the dog wears This is the collar part and then this is the receiver our power cap batteries that make sure you're always on a uh, battery plan to ensure the safety of your dog um, but these got over 52 different levels uh, that we can really adjust it to a dog's personality. Um, it's got a light on it that will let you know the life of the battery. It will blink green, blink yellow, blink red. You know how much the dog's actually going to be testing the fence or cat. Um, weighs less than six ounces. Uh, a lot of people get offended by the prongs itself. It does not push into their skin. I always do two fingers between the prongs and their neck. So, or I always rotate it around so it's not sit in, sitting in one spot. But with their 52 with the 52 different levels on the receiver itself, we can really adjust to each dog's personalities. I got Chihuahuas that wear this, and I got Newfoundlands that wear this. St. Bernards, Great Danes, Labs. There's no dog that we can't train in on Invisible Fence brand or cat. Um, a lot of people think they got that one dog that's going to blow past the fence, but I, I guarantee you, I've been doing this since 2000 with the technology's changed. Uh, and the settings on these, we can really work with the dog itself to make sure they're turning around and coming back into the yard. It gives an audible tone, so it'll warn them when they're getting near it, and then it'll eventually give them that amplified static correction that they reflect on the train coming back into the yard. So, uh, no size. Um, I've had dogs 16, 17 years old. I've had dogs as young as eight weeks going on Invisible Fence brand. So, there's no size that we can't conquer, and there's no dog that we can't train to Invisible Fence brand.